to this day, to this day, rich people don't sleep eight hours a day. That's stupid. Use your common sense. Spirit, here we have Keek. And y'all how say y'all? Okay, <laughs> okay, we doing. Lo- <laughs> yeah, I mean you, you. I mean you saw one episode and you completely changed up now. Huh? I see you, bro. Bro. So we doing like that. <laughs> Lovecraft Country episode six, season one. And what's what's the name of the episode? Meet me in. Uh, how did you how you pronounce that? Vegas. Uh, you sure? <laughs> <I'm> not, <laughs> I, I don't. I feel like that's not the way you pronounce it, but I'm gonna go with it. So you seem so sure of yourself. Okay. Vegas. <laughs> oh yeah. Uh, <laughs> It's not like you said uh, an Italian slur, man. But uh, oh <laughs> 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 uh, shit. But uh, yeah, before we get into all of that, be sure to like, comment, and sub to the channel. We do TV show reviews. We also do entertainment industry news. Uh, shout out to Zendaya for winning that Emmy. Oh yeah, she deserved exactly. it. It's exactly. one of many. I'm sure she's gonna have a <laughs> bright, bright future. Exactly. Glad to see it. Glad to see her out here progressing, you know. But uh, let's let's jump right into the episode. Very interesting episode. But before we do like a, a breakdown of it, um, what are your general thoughts of this episode? I liked it a lot. I thought that Kia's story was something that we have been anticipating since the very beginning. And um, just to finally see it come to fruition in her Tick's relationship, her background story, and, and how she plays into his future, and you know her vision, what she saw for him, and all that. Yeah, yeah. I think is it was dope how they executed it. Oh, exactly, exactly. And uh, I mean, again, with the uh, the you know the genre bending, man, it this felt like a a, a Korean horror movie. I mean, it, it's it's all horror, like yeah. most it's mostly horror, but it, it felt like this was from a different region. Like yeah, it really, it really, uh, it was because they used Korean lore as the base for oh, yeah, the story. Yeah, yeah so yeah. it is, it has nothing to do with you know Tick's bloodline and and all the lodges and shit. Yeah, it felt so that's why it, it felt, felt different. Entirely different. Yeah, exactly. That's that's probably why. Yeah, I think you're right on that. Um, and yeah, I mean, like I'm, I'm just loving how they're building these characters. So. We, I mean, we were interested in her since episode one, and uh, we finally get to see who she is and what she's about. And uh, I mean, it's a great, it's an interesting character. That actor, that actress did a great job with this yeah, episode. Shout out to Jamie Chung. Oh, that's her name. Yeah, Jamie Chung. Oh, I, I got a feeling like you. you know, <laughs> <laughs> no more open day, Jamie Chung. <laughs> 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 I'm going with it. <laughs> I got to look it up later to make sure, but it's cool. Uh, <laughs> I don't but, care if you got nine tails. Oh, <laughs> uh, so like, this shit turned into Naruto, man. I thought, uh, <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> I fucked with it. Oh, <laughs> uh, shit. But, uh, yeah, let's, let's, let's get right into the key points of the episode. So, Gia is not a, a human. Uh, she is the nine-tailed fox spirit, and a nine-tailed fox is a shapeshifter that absorbs souls. And uh, her goal was to absorb the souls of a hundred men. And she was summoned by a shaman. And her mother summoned. Her mother went to the shaman uh, to summon this this spirit to kill her husband who was abusing her daughter. And the daughter is Gia. She doesn't have another daughter. She only has one daughter, and that's Gia. And Surprisingly, the vessel for the the spirit was <laughs> the daughter that was abused, Gia. So it it, it creates an interesting dynamic it, again with the uh, the children. I mean, the uh, parents using their kids to get what they want. Um, that's a reoccurring theme in this show. Um, but uh, this 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 takes place in nineteen forty nine. This was during the time of like the. Uh, the uh, communist war uh like in korea yeah no, uh, south korea north korea yeah yeah and um <laughs> and here we we don't re- we don't really get to see tick until like uh halfway through the episode um but here's where they 
they they show us how they build their relationship. And when we first see Tick, he is a, a, a murderous killing machine. He doesn't seem stone to, cold killer. Stone cold killer and United States soldier. <laughs> ask no question. Shoot first. Shoot first. And he is pretty much just just uh, as much of a monster as uh, she is. Like <laughs> like both emotionless, just doing the the bidding of other people. You know. And through that, more common for Matt alone. Exactly. It makes sense. Exactly. That they would come together. Exactly, uh, and through through that dynamic, through the, through those similarities, uh, they're able to build a relationship. I um, mean, she hated Tick at first because she saw Tick kill one of her friends in front of her, but I'm eventually guessing. she got over it. Uh, who else? I wonder if Ruby's gonna forgive uh, Christina for pretending to be <laughs> William I mean, and getting in them guts. <laughs> <laughs> We That's shall it. see next week on Lovecraft Country. Wait, we sh- we shall see. Man. <laughs> <laughs> we shall see, man. <laughs> but yeah, that's, that's pretty much the gist of uh, what's going on this episode. The, the, the relationship built between uh, Tick and Gia, um, and who she is, like like she's a nine tail fox, and how she come, how she came to know everything about Atticus. At first, like when we first. Like when we first, uh, when we when we first get introduced to this character on the phone, I'm thinking that like, you know, she she knows all this stuff about him because he told her. Like they were talking a lot, but that's not the case. <laughs> she she slept with him, and she was about to absorb his soul, but she stopped because she actually fell in love with him. But the process of absorbing his soul made her see all of his his memories, his entire life. Mm-hmm. So she knows at the time, exactly. <laughs> which was, <laughs> which was which makes it funnier how he went in on Letty like the first time because like do you, don't you think he would have known? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, oh yeah, I mean that's 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 the key point here. We also find out that you know, Atticus is a virgin, uh, and he loses his virginity to a monster. Um, so yeah. <laughs> And it, like it, 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 to label her as a monster. Not I mean, look, I mean, she's she's not a monster. She's a, she's a, an attractive monster. Her her other form, <laughs> not so much. But the base, the vessel is a uh, right, right. as hell. The man. body in which she inhabits <laughs> is not monstrous yeah, at all. So I wouldn't mind if I had I not seen those those tentacles, man. I wouldn't. I still don't care. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> I do but, not care. <laughs> but this show does something interesting with the you know, virginity and all that. Because usually in horror films, like uh, when when the person has sex, that's like death. But in this show, it's like it's freedom. It's like you're freeing yourself. It's like you're 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 alive. You're living. Because I remember when Letty said that she needed to feel alive. So that's why she was okay with uh, having sex with Tick at that moment. She needed to feel something and. This whole thing with Montrose, like him, him uh, sexually expressing himself, it's it's freeing him. You see, saw you saw him at, at the end of ep- the last episode, just dancing and and partying and shit. So it's a freeing thing. It's 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 living, but in horror, it's like you you have sex with somebody, your, your ass is dead. So I like how they kind of play with that. And they, what else happened? Where. Gia and her friend were walking and um, the guy got lynched right in front of him. He was a communist. Well, yeah, this that's, was right before she died. Well, yeah, I'm talking about like Low- any other key moments. That's that's like... Well, this is what I'm getting to. Low-key, I thought yeah. her friend was giving off some, some sapphic energy. Like, some, I thought they some, were... Some what energy? Some sapphic energy. Sapphic? What? <laughs> <laughs> what you don't know what that word is? No, what is that? What are you talking well, about? Well, I forgot you don't read books. Oh damn! So okay. <laughs> so what, what does that mean? What do you mean? I thought he was gay. Okay, okay. I, I assumed that's what you were saying, but I, yeah. Like why, why you couldn't say it that way? I don't know. You just trying to I like trying to flex, words, Bush. trying to flex or some shit. Like I don't know why the fuck you did. I mean, <laughs> I I could see why you would believe that. I mean, they were. I don't know. I don't know. I, I didn't. I didn't get that at all. Relationship. It was like. I mean, they were just like they were just like best friends. Uh-huh. 
I mean, I mean, she caressed her hand a little bit too long at times. I'm but saying, I, I mean, like. but it's it's just you know, <laughs> I think women are, are are afforded that they're allowed to get more you know, you know, touchy feely with each other, man, without there okay. being, you know, <laughs> she's gay. Like I don't, I don't think. Let me know what I see. In my eyes. <laughs> Well, you would know more than me, so. Uh, <laughs> but I don't, I don't know. Man. I, I didn't really vibes. see. That. I'm not saying. I'm just, you know, I, I, I'm yeah, I, I didn't really see that though. But, um, but yeah, I mean, pretty much the finale, the, the ending of the episode was that uh, Gia's mother was pressed to get her daughter back because she believed that. Uh, once the nine tail spirit consumed a uh, hundred souls, that uh, it she, her daughter would revert back to herself. And the whole time that the nine tail fox is there, um, she believed that there was remnants of her daughter's memory within uh, her daughter's body, though the spirit was there as well. But there really wasn't. The only reason that uh, Gia remembered. Uh, what her daughter was like is because she slept with her uh, she slept with her father. Her, her father yeah and she was just um, she absorbed his memories and exactly. she got to get a glimpse of how their relationship was exactly. and how her mom neglected her and pretty much let it happen up until she summoned <laughs> a demon yeah, yeah. which, which, is, <laughs> which odd, is so fucked up yeah it is it is <laughs> fucked up like she <laughs> Her whole thing was to not disgrace the family because she had a daughter out of wedlock. So she allowed this man to come into their her home and and just like rape her daughter. And to get back at her him, she like further abused her daughter by summoning this demon inside of her. Both using her body just in different ways. And yeah, that's... both using oh, that's, <laughs> exactly. I, that's a, that's a great way to put it. They and yeah. you know the uh, Gia the Nine Tail Fox uh, says this. Uh, she kind of says this. Uh, she like you. How 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 is his love and your love different? It's the same shit. <laughs> yeah. They're both abusive. Uh, just in a different way. Yep. 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 Uh, but yeah, the, what started that is uh. Like, cause the night tail fox refused to like take any more souls. Um, she she's seen. She doesn't. The night tail fox doesn't want to become human after seeing the memories of ninety nine men. She's like, uh, y'all y'all pretty, hey, y'all more devilish than me. Like, why the fuck would I want to become a, a full fledged human? Uh, there is no good in this world, you know. And then of course she meets uh, Atticus falls in love and uh they're about to have sex and she was going to consume him as well just because she was mad that he killed her friend but uh then you know his love was too strong man atticus comes through again i'm telling you this man is building a harem man she could not fully absorb him and they just end up falling in love with each other and there becomes a dilemma in the episode where uh, like she wants to, she, she is hesitant to whether or not to tell him that you know what she is, that she is like the uh, nine tail fox spirit thing. So, and she, I mean, she wants to tell him real bad, but she knows that once he discovers that, she might not enti- he might not entirely fuck with uh, her. Uh, and eventually, it gets to that point where they're about to have sex, and her 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 parts come out. <laughs> Her fucking uh, alien tentacle parts oops. come out, uh, and he gets. It could have made him look more attractive. Yeah, I mean they could have, they could have, but they decided not to. I mean, you know, they, they, they know better. They know better. They know not to make the shit like, cause the like cereal. you'd be like, well, why is he, <laughs> why is Atticus upset? You know, that's a right. that's a ten out of ten right there. What? Right. <laughs> you get all the holes at once. Exactly. <laughs> all... <laughs> <laughs> That girl is unique. She's special. You know, she's she does freaky things, man. You can't you can't find that nowhere else, man. No problem with this. <laughs> yeah, what is what's wrong? With, what's wrong with him, man? Right. <laughs> but yeah, he see he sees the tentacles come out like she is super aroused and and you know the, the tentacles start to come out. This man becomes a pro after his first time. He was <laughs> he was in there. 
and he forces the tentacles to activate and she tries to hide it but he sees it and he's freaked out like what the fuck is that and I mean that kind of that kind of hurts their relationship for a bit there but then they, you know, it, it they eventually talk again um, but he can't stay uh, he, he has to go because this is wartime uh, he, uh, but, he got uh, enough points to leave and go back that's what they were talking about like right before he did it but, he said he got um, he got enough points to leave yeah he did it because yeah so he he was going back home anyway oh yeah, yeah okay. he either had the choice to leave or stay in the war and you know the war yeah, nobody wants to stay in the war <laughs> yeah. so he's like I'm going I'm gone. Yeah. Um, did she? Uh, did they talk about her going with them or some shit? Like I know, usually in films and TV and shit, like I want to go with you. <laughs> they discussed like, it for yeah. a little bit, and then they started doing what they do. And the tails came out, and he dipped. Yeah, he like I gotta get the fuck out of here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but that conversation I, was cut short. Yeah, but he, I mean, she she saw all of his uh, memories and things. Uh, she saw everything that he saw and I mean he she even saw him killing her friend so yeah but she, I mean she didn't she didn't focus in on that you know the the, the love was too, was still too strong she focused in on him dying she saw him dying in her uh in her memories and I mean he he left already but she wants to save him you know so I, I guess I mean she before he ran out the room after seeing the tentacles, she was warning him not to go back because she saw what would happen to him if he went back. So that, that we kind of get uh, why, you know, what what that ominous thing she said on the phone in the first episode. It's like, what what is she talking about? You know, we kind of we kind of get that in this episode. She saw all of his memories and she saw him dying, and therefore he should not go back. But he went back anyway. Um, he went back anyway. So. Uh, now now we are here what happened was they went up there and she was like you only took 99 lives why would you come back here just ask me more questions yeah. and you know there's like consequences to everything that you do and if you're dealing with a shaman so she basically asked um, what's going to happen to Tick because she cares about him and she, she wanted yeah. to know if he was actually going to die and then the shaman lit something on fire and put it towards the sky and said something pretty cryptic and that was the end. Yeah. So that is that. Yeah. So what do you what do you think is gonna happen? That was a flashback, so we can't really base that <laughs> like tell what the future holds based off of that. But uh 'cause I don't know how they gonna introduce her back into the show. Um right. You know, will she come and visit that nigga? Like, how how will she be uh, put back into the show? Maybe that's something that happens later on, like the end, near the end of the uh, season. But uh, as of right now, it was just a good little backstory. It's more information that we needed. Um, we were all interested in this character. We need to know more. Uh, what was her relationship with Atticus? We finally figured all of that out. Um, and I, I gotta say, man, this man, this man is building uh, one hell of a uh, harem, man. You go, he got Letitia, he got every color, man. This nigga's got <laughs> all the colors of the rainbow. He's still in the rainbow, man. <laughs> uh, and they're from different places too, different backgrounds. It's like they're not even the got same. Oh, in different, different areas. Areas. <laughs> 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 uh, I'll be interested to see who he ends up with. I mean, Christine ain't really a thing. Uh, she just not yet. You know, you know they they, they trying to build <laughs> some shit. It's this nigga, this nigga just just asks, uh, "You got a boyfriend?" Like, out, of, out of nowhere, that shit was uh, like, okay. <laughs> he was shooting his shot in the midst of all of this death and killing and shit. It's like okay, but uh, yeah, we 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 will see, man, what they do with that. Because I'm curious. I'm curious if he's gonna stay with Letitia. Because that's where he's at right now. That's where he's at right now. Before the other, the other two women might die. So I don't know. Can Gia die? Uh, can she die? Uh, probably. Probably. I don't know. That hasn't been explained. I don't know the story of the Nine Tail Fox. I wonder if she can even turn into different people. Like, or she just summoning in that vessel and she has that body. Yeah. 
said she didn't have to. But um, I, yeah, I don't know if she can die. She probably yeah, probably just the body can die. And but yeah, that's that's interesting. I mean, he did fall in love with her. So I wonder if she takes another body like Letitia body <laughs> or some shit like Oh, that. that'd be fucked up. <laughs> uh, I mean, it's just... But what I'm, what I'm wondering is if she goes into another body that she doesn't have that person's memories, but does she have her memories of being in a previous person's body? No, I don't like, think... Like, does she remember being in Gia's body? No, or I does she... Nah. I don't think that's I don't how I, I don't think it, I don't think she'll keep those memories because remember if she uh sleeps with a hundred men and absorbs you know all of their souls uh then she'll forget everything and go back to human right so I'm assuming right. that if like if she dies or something like that it'll be the same thing I think okay so if she takes another person's body then she has to build yeah. up her own personality I th- and I she think... might not love tick if she takes another body well, she, 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 damn, I'm trying to think. Cause I mean, her memories are separate from the ones she consumes. So she might still have her memories. Um, but that's what I'm saying. Like, if, okay. If okay. she, if she were to take another person's body, would she remember who she is? Even though she was in different people's bodies. Like the, I, the I, fact I think that I, she loves to go to see Judy Garland movies and all that shit. That's her. That's not Gia. Yeah. I think I think so. Yeah, I think so. I just think she'll just lose the memories of the people she absorbed. That's it. So yeah, you might you might be right on that. Still, she'll still have her same memories if she takes somebody else's body, but she'll lose all the memories of the people she absorbed. So yeah. But yeah, I mean, interesting episode. Um, any any other any other things you want to talk about this episode? Like the prevalence of abuse. <laughs> Fucking. <laughs> <laughs> the that, wife, was, that was crazy. It's like, damn, um, man, yo, these fathers ain't shit in this show. Jesus. I know. <laughs> That's legitimately a recurring theme. Like, everybody's father ain't shit. Montrose ain't shit. To an extent, George wasn't shit if Tick was actually his son and he never told him. Yeah. That's kind of an ain't shit thing to do. I mean, Letitia's uh, father ain't shit because we never seen he, that nigga. Yeah, we ain't never seen that nigga. <laughs> <laughs> like, that nigga ain't shit. He ain't, ever, he ain't around. Like, so we obviously ain't, ain't never shit. Seen you know that what I'm saying? <laughs> he ain't not shit. Yeah, Christina's father wasn't shit. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Know, so. Gia, Gia's father not shit. Uh, right. It's like, damn, okay. <laughs> <laughs> and, I mean, the mothers aren't that, that good either. Like, I guess none of the parents are good. Uh, Hippolyta seems like she's a good mom. Yeah, Hipp- but... Hippolyta is cool, but we, well, let's wait. Let's wait till after this next episode. Yeah, because you know, she might be doing some I think wild shit. <laughs> Hippolyta centered, so we'll get to see. Exactly. Exactly. Um, Which I'm excited for. Oh I yeah, think definitely. it's gonna be like another genre bending episode. Uh, did I mention this this episode about the virginity thing? Because uh, we recorded yeah. this shit like eight times. <laughs> I'm trying to remember. Yeah, <laughs> yeah even, you you talked about that. I'm trying to remember. I talked about how that. they all virgins, and then all of a sudden they all get in some. <laughs> but I think that just reflects the time. Like people weren't losing it like that back in the 50s. You know what I mean? They they were still pretty chaste and trying to wait until they meet somebody and get married. Well, yeah, I'll I'll, I'll bring it up because I only bring it up because of, of like you know what it means in horror films and like it means yeah. being tainted. Or, like your morals are um are not where they are, are are right, you know. And usually when you have sex, <laughs> you you die immediately after, but <laughs> in this show it's like yeah. you like Jason Voorhees just comes out of nowhere. <laughs> As soon as you stick it in, <laughs> it's a it's a freeing thing in, in this show. Like, yeah. Man. So yeah, I mean, that's cool. That's interesting. Um, I'm trying to think of something else. What else I want to talk about? Uh, uh, I guess we kind of discussed their their being beholden to their parents. We kind of discussed that shit. Uh, is there any other themes that we didn't talk about yet? Um. I think that's pretty much. They it. get into more like mythologies along the way. Oh yeah, more than yeah. just the lodges and all that stuff. I kind of liked how they diverted from that story and brought in like Korean 
mythology. Yeah, you, you, you are you are right about that. It, it is interesting that they uh opened this world up, like because we have other like wizards and shit, like shaman. It's basically like fucking a witch and wizards and shit. So, yeah. <laughs> so that is that is pretty interesting how much they opened the world up with just this one episode. Because uh, are there different um witches and wizards in different areas of the world? And do they have different types of powers? Like how how deep or how far does this go? So that that is that is uh, pretty good. Hopefully they show more of that. Um, yeah. But yeah, I wonder what role uh, Gia is gonna play uh, in in the in, you know, everything. Like, I think she might come to America to try to save Tick. If she sees him dying and she believes that he's gonna die, which he may, but he may be resurrected. I can see that happening. I can see him dying multiple times and yeah, uh, I mean, coming yeah, back to her. Can be resurrected. I probably Christina knows that. Uh, yeah. That spell. Yeah. So. I so mean, I think that she's gonna come thinking that he is gonna die, die, and um, she's gonna try to save him. But it's just like something like a ritual where he has to die and come back to life for a spell to take effect or something. Yeah, we'll see, man. I want I want to know how much magic will he learn? Will he become Black Harry Potter, man? I want to see this motherfucker shooting laser bolts at niggas and shit. Thunderbolts. Laser bolts. <laughs> Thunderbolts. That's, that, that'd be kind of ill. Going laser bad, bolt. That, that's kind of like, that's kind of ill. A laser bolt. I want to see that now, man. You want the, this nigga <laughs> to turn into Homelander, Black Homelander? <laughs> exactly. Black that'd Homelander. That'd be bad. I could like. Just from what he's been saying, how he has like all this unmitigated anger, I feel like if he gets all this power, it won't be good. Yeah, I, I, that's what I like about his character because he always seems like he's about to explode. Like, yeah, like all that pent up anger and rage, <laughs> you know, the nervousness. <laughs> it's like the, the way he shows his anger in, multiple, in tons of different ways is is, is good, man. It's good. Yeah. Man. He, he'll make for a, ga- a great villain. <laughs> Shout out to He's him. already problematic, and y'all trying to give this nigga magical powers? Come on now. Uh, he beat the out. shit out of Montrose. <laughs> he did beat Montrose. Montrose deserved it, man. He, he brought he Montrose all the way out the closet, man. That's that's a uh, look, man. That that was good, man. Montrose needed that ass whooping, man. He did. <laughs> he needed to beat. Sense he needed to run him, straight man. to his boyfriend. He needed, exactly. He needed to confess that he likes he likes the bussy, man. He needed to. You need to come out fully to that, man. <laughs> What's that? <laughs> uh, but yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, you know, next week it'll be. I guess uh, we'll have a better structure for it. I mean, this, 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 uh, this review is kind of all over the place because uh, I don't know, technical issues and all of that uh, spur of the moment thing. So hopefully, I'll I'll figure out a proper structure for this because I don't like doing recaps. I don't like doing full on recaps. I don't even know why I started doing that shit. <laughs> that's a pain in the ass. For to content, do. do it. For that's content. a pain in the ass to do. It, it takes so long, man. Yeah. And then if you even okay. if, you, if you write it down, you still kind of fuck up. But uh. Yeah, because you don't want to make it seem like you're just reading off a piece of paper. You know, it's exactly. Trying to and, make it and have natural. synergies. Exactly. Yeah. But uh, yeah, we will catch y'all next week. Um. And hopefully we'll we, we will start to record these uh, like sooner, like right after the episode airs. On a consistent basis. On a consistent basis. <laughs> Look, man, I'm on my Boy, Tim Tim know. shit right now, man. I can't help it. He on his Tim Tim and Hurricane shit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was a hurricane. has been too. fucking up his internet. <laughs> yeah, it was a hurricane as well. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> you live out in the boondocks. Middle uh, bump I, was playing Tim Tim. I was playing Tim Tim throughout the hurricane, man. Come on. <laughs> Offline. No, you can't do that. I'm bullshit. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. yeah, peace out, man. Please. Peace.